Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today we're going to be playing For Honor. And it is in closed alpha, so I do want you guys to know this before I even go to all this, that everything is subject to change. So this is not the full build. Everything you see is not all of it. This is just closed alpha, just letting people test it out. Now, to get inside of a closed alpha, you just had to, like, sign up for it. And for right now, they're taking signups for the next beta. So do make sure you guys sign up for it if you guys are really enjoying the game or want to get in. And even your friends can invite you to the game if they have it. I believe you can invite up to like three players or something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like three or seven. Not really sure. I'm going to look back at the email. But I'm going to show you guys around the menu before we actually get into the game. I might do like a bot match because I have a daily right now so I can get my coins. Then I'm gonna try and jump in some duels with you guys and you guys can watch me fail. All right, so let's explain the heroes a little bit. So each faction, the Knights, Viking, and Samurai have their own like unique classes and all of them have different weapons. So for the Knights, you have the Warden, who is skilled in like the Claymore. He even grabs the freaking blade and runs around with it like it's nothing. And then you have the Conqueror, who uses more of like a chain mace. I think it's like a Morningstar? Is that, is that what it's called? I believe it's a Morningstar. Now we're going to move on to the Vikings, which has the Raider, who uses a big halberd, or I guess like a long giant axe whichever one you would call it <laughs> but we're gonna move on to berserker who is skilled in dual wielding at two axes and who is very very strong <laughs> now we're gonna move on to the samurai who are the kinchi who is skilled in long katanas and then we have the Rochi, who's skilled in the more shorter katana, the one we're used to, the normal ones, but who is more fast and skilled and more aggressive with counters. So each faction has their own unique like abilities too, so you make sure you guys like carefully pick it out. And one thing I also want to say is that it's not like a Viking versus Samurai type of ordeal. It's like your team versus the other team. So you can pretty much be a knight if you want. And your friend could be in the game along with you and your team and be a Viking. And others could be Samurai. So it's pretty much like a mixture versus a team versus another team. So if you guys are thinking you have a caterer to one side and... One other side fights each other is not like that. So that's actually better in my opinion. And so with the characters explained, well, a little, uh, here's our social. We can tell how good your signal is. My signal is pretty good. It hasn't gone down any as I was playing. Now you can invite your friends if they're online. But you the weirdest thing is that me and Hollow tried to like duel each other, but it didn't have that option. We were inside of a group together. We tried to go into duel, but it said maximum capacity was like one. So yeah. It it was really weird. But hey. Now you got your emblem, you can design different ones you can go over here to edit they have all kinds of different backgrounds for you guys and yes you can't change the color i just did not yeah you can change the colors to anything you want depending on how many how many colors it has this one has two i can just change it to that now let's look at some of the symbols now it's basically like your layers, pretty much. You could put like different symbols over another symbol. Hold on. So as you can see, that would be my symbol. We're gonna cancel this because I don't need another 
symbol. Uh, gonna move out. So my faction is knights since I first started out with them. Now I'm not sure what they're gonna do with that. If they're gonna like give you some perks for playing your knights or something. Uh, but I do want to tell you guys another thing. Let's switch back to heroes. So I'm gonna come here with my level five knight, well warden. As you can see, customization is a thing, so you can customize your armor. But that's not all. Your weapons and stuff have stats. So you can easily just increase your attacks or your blocking damage. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind. I was to swap over here. And as you can see, this gives me more revenge. Uh, or revenge state duration. Revenge is sort of like when you're getting hit too much or you're in like a long furious battle, you can like pretty much gain like a buff or a power up that can like stun an enemy or push him back. Now here are your abilities over here. You can change your executions. Uh, I think you can preview it. Preview uh, your character. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, just by pushing one you can preview your character. I got this, you know, line rocking on my back. Character actually looks pretty sick. But it doesn't seem like you can actually like look at it before you get it. Yeah, you can't look at it before you get it. But they do have no emotions at the moment. But they do have abilities that you can look at. Now I can change this to here. Killing soldiers gain Health and stamina. I like that. So I'm going to take that. So as you level up, the more things you get. More abilities you unlock. And your appearance is over here to where you can change yourself to a female or a male. Female is kind of like a little more slimish. The male character is like a little more buff. You even change your outfit to a warden outfit, which I actually did. I actually bought it, so yeah. You can change your design of your clothes to anything you want, basically. Um, I already changed mine to this, so I could change the pattern of it, but you know, eh, none of them actually look good, so I'm not gonna do that. I turn my knight around, see if I left anything. Up, oh, I changed my back. That's terrible. Let's go back to my... Yeah, there we go. So you can actually change your skin color too. And you can actually change uh, whether you look like a different type of person, like attacker or defender. Uh, I'm going to choose defender because that actually looks pretty, pretty nice. You know what? This... Ah, nah. I like this one. But... Yeah, that's pretty much all you can do here. Skin color is over here inside of your genders. Just choose anything you want. And it should show up if you have a character who doesn't have a lot of armor. <laughs> but, yeah. Materials. Okay, let me click on it. Uh, I have not figured out what that is. Oh yeah, it's the it's how your armor looks. So I'm guessing they're going to be gold armor down, a down in the future. Maybe. Hopefully, because I'm really looking forward to this game. Scavenging is pretty much getting random gear. And so you can get weapons, you can get premium gears, you can get armor, or you can just buy random gear. I would, but I'm trying to save up for my other classes because I just went on a shopping spree and bought the weapon upgrades. And they even have how to plays. So you can uh, see your move set combos you can do and pretty much learn these combos are actually pretty interesting you can even watch videos on how to play your class so yeah that's pretty nice so what we're gonna do now is pretty much hop into a game like I said I gotta do my bop match because you know Got a quest for it.
and I would get enough to buy the Orochi class. Then I'm going to save up to buy the Berserker, then we should be good. Alright, Domination is pretty much just capturing each side and, you know, I think only the actual players can catch each zone, except for the middle. The middle is depending on how many soldiers you have on it and how well they're overtaking it. So, yeah. Hopefully we can get in the match. Oh yeah, when you first start the game, your audio will be on, so you gotta, like, take it off on uh, option menu. Go to auctions, then audio, then scroll down to voice chat mode. Then you could just change that to push to talk. Then your V button will be your default for that. Hopefully we can get in the match here and get started. Alright, as you guys can see, uh, our whole screens and everything is up. Uh, Wonder, can I? I cannot mute people. That sucks. Anywho, but as you can see, when you come in, you can see all your stats and everything. You can see what level you are. You can actually see what everybody else is choosing, but you can't see what they're uh, rolling with. And this guy is going to be. Yeah, I can't stop it at all. Unless I was to go into options. We'll see if they have any auctions to where I can turn down audio. Alright guys. We have to find a new match because our last one did not work out. So, we're going to go in our class and get started. Like, we got into the uh, into one match, but then it like kicked us out halfway. But, yeah. Can't really say anything much about it right now. The only thing I hope is that they add in, um, challenge your friends to a duel. Alright guys, we're in game. And this is the opening up. So we actually got into an actual match from the start. Last match we got into was, like, had already started and it was about to end. But this one is actually a full match. Now, one thing you have to remember is that you can hit your teammates too, but it causes them a little damage, not a lot. Now I can execute him. Ah, that is always satisfying. I love the executions in this game. So now we're going to need to capture that, so we're going to go around. I actually remember this map pretty well. Okay, okay, oh god. Oh, I couldn't dodge it. Viking, <laughs> the Raider has such good range and such insane damage. But you have to be really careful around the Vikings. Because they just cause so much damage. I believe they're like... Uh... Probably like the strongest damaging class. For Samurais, they're pretty much the fastest. For Knights, they're just overall balanced. Yeah, I kind of thought somebody was taking this over. Our teammate died. Um, are you okay? Okay. Haha! <laughs> I always love doing that too. Alright, go, let's go chase some teammate. Okay. Wait, what? You can push your teammate off? I'm so confused. You're blocking a little bit too much. 
Ah, uh, okay. Now we got this point. This, the domination is just pretty much capturing points. I'm pretty sure you can like throw people off on that side. But you know, we gotta go back to C because somebody's taking it over. I bet you somebody's gonna come up that ladder. Probably gonna be problematic. So let's go over here. Okay, nobody's going over there to A just yet. But the middle has a guy. Let's execute him. Slice off that head. Alright. So, one thing that is also a good thing is that each capture point you have heals you. So, if you're on top of a capture point on C or A, you get the heal. But if you're on B, you don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Avoid that. Okay, we should be pushing down a hole. As you can see, I'm out of stamina. <laughs> nice. Alright. So now we're going to move on to A, because I believe somebody's probably going to go up there and try and get cap it. Or this guy. Gotta remember your combos. A slice off his head as well. Decapitation. Oh god, where'd that guy come from? Alright. So, stamina manage is probably like the best thing. I can just come down here, slicing these guys up. Which is like the most funnest and satisfying thing of this game. Up, oh, seem like our teammates in a battle. Uh, <laughs> we're triple teaming this guy. I don't think he knew what to do. Now, at a thousand points, pretty much your next goal is to uh, kill the enemy team. But. Your enemy team has time to uh, push you guys back in points, then his team can resummon. So it's pretty much a sudden death for them when you get to a thousand. Okay, okay. Oh, that. That was weird. Each time he like defended me off, my stamina would go down even more. I like that. That is actually pretty interesting. Conqueror class is just not for me. Alright. So somebody's fighting up here. Let's go join him. I'll save you, teammate. Man, my kill streak was legendary. But now we're gonna hop into some duels and watch me fail. Now I'm pretty sure I got my points, so I'm good. 10 takedowns and one death. Eh, not bad. And at the end of the game, you get loot. It could be a lot of things. I just got um, a blade that I can go and equip. But this has more damage instead of. Uh, Revenge. So I'm going to probably go and equip that because the knights aren't really kicking it in damage. 
but it would be nice if they were. So let's equip that. Weapon, blade. Yep, that's exactly what we need. So, improving stats. Let's see how you can do that. Oh, you can feed it another sword. So if you feed it multiple things, I believe it, like, changes. Or, oh, you could feed it multiple helmets, too. Execute, regeneration, debuff, re Wow, okay, that's actually pretty interesting. I might take the debuff one, because debuff is, like, really annoying to deal with. But, let's also use the other blade that I won't be using. Uh... I have that equipped. I don't feel like I have that equipped. But we can go in here. Uh, it doesn't look like any of them change stats right now, so let's use that one too. Weapon is upgraded. So I'm using my points to upgrade my stuff, and seems like it's improved, I guess. <laughs> so. Also, what we're going to do is buy the Orochi class. Do I want to buy this class? Yes. Alright, so now we're going to move on to our duels. Our 1v1 duels. 1v1 is like the most funnest thing ever. It's just that me and Hollow wanted to 1v1, but the game wouldn't allow us. Alright, we actually found somebody right off the bat. So, let's go Knight. And test out our new blade. Probably gonna be terrible. I'm probably gonna get my ass handed to me. Oh god, here we go. Oh, he's also a Knight. So I'm just going to do one duel here, guys, then we're going to wrap it up. You know what? I can probably squeeze in two, depending on how long it is. Depending. I could probably squeeze in what another one, but we'll have to see. Now, Round one. here it is. It's best out of five. So, yeah, you have a couple of rounds to enjoy yourself. Oh, God. And we got a tight mat. map. Oh, thank God. Whew. All right, he's playing a little bit cautious. Normally, I would see a lot more aggressive people. Round two. Especially in the samurai classes, they would be a lot more aggressive. 1v1s get your heart pumping, like, really good. Alright, come on. Oh, so he wants to run? Alright. I don't know what the run thing is, because people always do it. They always try to run away and charge up something. Which has really been screwing a lot of people over in a match. So, that's something I'm going to have to watch out when people do. Alright, he could bring it back. Like, the matches are never as well as you think they are. Oh yeah, I ran out of stamina. So, as you can see, the, the matches are never... 
even as that. So sometimes you can get like a zero to three, but four. well, three to zero, but sometimes you can't. So never count yourself a victor just because you're winning. Ah, oh, yes, the backup slash. I always love that. The backslash is actually pretty decent in this game. So I have time for one more. I got a reward. What is it? Oh, I got, I got gloves. Gauntlets. And I unlocked a new pattern. My knight is now level 6. So... Let's see if this guy want to go more one more round. All right, he can go one more round. So I'm gonna switch over to Hinchy here and see how that lies. Now Kimchi's are very strong. It just depends on how you play them. Let's see how this goes. Cause he could probably win. I love Knight class, but. <laughs> Jesus, they're they're like really overall balanced. Pretty slow class, but you have to like watch out. Because some of them are actually pretty good and aggressive. Round one. Alright, last match guys. Oh god. The, the worst map for me is this map. You can see I changed my armor a little. Mine don't look like the trailer one anymore. Okay, I can't back up or anything. This is so weird, I can't back up. Like, he doesn't want to, like, fully back up. He just barely taps it back. I wonder, if you hold it down and go back, does it, like, really count like that? Let's, let's see. Should be... Should count like that, right? Or does he just, like, barely dash back? Nope, he just barely dashed back either way it goes. Yeah, I can't win with uh Hirochi. And it's weird because you stagger so much when somebody hits you that you can barely even attack back. So it's pretty much like a guarding game as soon as it gets to that. Round three. All right, this guy made uh, Owen three me, maybe. I, I don't care. This match, the game is so much fun, so I don't care about losses at the moment. What? Okay, okay, I blocked that, but apparently not. And my character's dashing towards him instead of back. <laughs> oh, God. Well, guys, we have reached our 31 minutes. He 3 0 would me. Eh, oh, well. But it was, in the end, it was really fun. But did I get a reward this time? Nope. When you lose, you don't get rewards. So that's the only depressing part. Like, come on, man. Please give me something, and not your 3 gold and XP. What an insult, but... Hope you guys enjoyed the game. We're gonna call it here. And I might play some more. But I am definitely gonna save up money for this game. This game goes into beta, like, really soon. So I'm pretty sure it's like... I'm pretty sure it said September 8th. 15th was, uh... End date. Of like close alpha, but I'm gonna have to recheck. 
But I do know the game fully releases on February the 17th on, you know, next year. <laughs> 2017. My bad. <laughs> but I cannot wait for this game. Like, it's so much fun. Especially if I'm able to 1v1 my friends. Oh, this is going to be the greatest game ever. Probably going to see, like, a lot of videos of this on my gameplay channel for sure. But... Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.